Hello, welcome to the third in the preliminary fence series. Preliminary to windows on the future. In this tape we'll be dealing with soils and potting mixes and particularly the polypeat process or peroxide modified peat process. But first of all we'll take a look at silt. Here we have a uh, bucket of silt. Here's my son. You want me to spawn half years old? He's now nearly well, he's actually six now. First of all. And this is um, uh, 25 to 35 micron silt that you can buy from Kios here in South Australia. And it's uh, definitely very thixotropic, as you will see. Oh, there we go. Now take that big lump and and show it to the camera. Yeah, now wobbly. Yeah. So it looks a bit like going like watery clay. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it's going all wobbly. It's like rubber, isn't it? It's like rubber. And then it just breaks. Yeah, it just breaks. Oh, see? See, now wobble that bit again. Wobble it. It goes all sort of like like liquids running over your hands, isn't it? It's gonna, if you keep doing it, it's going to... It's the magic marvels of silt, eh? It's a fixotropic medium. Uh, are you explaining, are you going to explain that Dad's going to put this into his soil and try and grow a better fly for it? Yes. Does he think that's one of the secrets is it's a growing fixotropic soil? It's wet on the top and dry on the bottom, so it's more aerated at the bottom. As the roots go down, they go towards more, more oxygen. Which is opposite of what you would think of a box oil. You think the box oil would be really saturated, but it may not be. It may be wet on the top. Really wet. And now wobble the whole thing in here like this. And if we wobble this, it goes, oh. Look. Oh, my hands are going, oh, it's, it's flying over my fingers now like it's, you know, like it's warm. <laughs> it's really doing it. Mm. Look, I made it on the Oh, wow, yeah. Very close up on this. Yeah, I am. I'm right close up. Yes. So what was it? Was it a big block and it went all wobbly? Did you flatten it out, did you? No, I wobbly and it came off that. Alright, well do another piece and we can wobble. I'd like to see that. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. That's some more. Yeah. Mm. Hard, isn't it? Uh, whoa, whoa, big piece. Mm -hmm. Oh, big piece. Mm. You wobble that. Yeah, you wobble it and get it flat. Uh, yeah, it's starting to drip at the sides there, like rubber. Like it's molten rubber, but it's not molten and it's cold as anything, isn't it? <laughs> Break it as Let's see, let's see if it stands up on its own. Let's see. 
pushing it in, it'll stand up on its own, but then when it goes liquid again, it'll bend over, will really. it? It's still sinking in, look, look, you're watching. <laughs> it's sinking in. It's amazing. <laughs> amazing stuff. Picks the tropic properties as well. Oh. <laughs> bit like Excalibur, I suppose. It's good. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe that's what they, how they um, kept Excalibur in the rock, you know, while I was trying to pull it out and all that to do was pull it very slowly. Oh. When it come out. Mm. So make it go water, 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 water. Well, yeah, It's flowing in there, into that gap you just made. It's flowing in slowly. It's like water wool. Oh, yeah, wobbly. Wow! Oh. Yeah, Yeah, because 
to go and cut water, I think. Oh. It's going to get... It's coming. You wobble it so I don't wobble the camera. You wobble the bin. Look, it's got Pardon? And the dangers of being in quick wash is called quick silk. Uh, mm. uh, I can't get out. Mm. Rapid silk. silk. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Uh, look, it's clean it. Mm. There. Yeah, it just comes up like that. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, I think we'll call that quits now.